Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, so this is Elodie from Elodie's Crafts and Creations and today we're gonna make this beautiful drink journal cover. So I've used um, structure paste and a mold in the shape of scales. And then what I did is just simply I used my knife and I pressed it all the texture paste and I left a bit of space, as you can see. I put quite a bunch of uh, texture paste on top, so that gives me quite a lot of texture. And then I finished my paste, so I was a bit disappointed. So I decided to make it. Um, very simple, to be honest. All I did was use flour, water, and glue. So it's just simple white glue. And it was a lot runnier uh, than I expected. Uh, maybe I got the things wrong, but I really, really like the result. Because as you can see here, the with the normal texture paste, the edges are really defined and quite sharp. And with my own paste, they're runny and they're more like... Well, it is a bit bumpy, but I like it. It's quite nice. It's good. It's got texture and interest. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue this piece of cloth on top. And this is not my own idea. I've seen a lot of other junk journalists uh, do this. And it's a really fun way to add the um, like a texture to your, to your symbol uh, thing. So what I'm doing here is I'm just mixing a bit of water and... PVA or white glue. In France I'm just using the Cleopatra glue and this is a bit of water. I'm just running it down. And I'm just gonna fast forward a little bit otherwise this video is way too long and all I'm doing is literally just gluing the, the cloth onto my cardboard with my texture paste that is dry. I left it to dry at least one night probably more and I'm just gonna start uh, in the middle so that I'm sure I get all the edges right and it's pretty straight and stuff. Let's do this. So as I glue I just make sure that it's pretty tight. Um, I'm gonna pull the fabric uh, like around and I'm just gonna use my bone folder to go all around the edges of the um, of the scales. Uh, so this is quite a long process but it's really important I think because you get to uh, really define the the little uh, details that you've put on. Um, do put quite a lot of glue because especially in between your well, scales if you're using scales or any other stencil uh, and I tried another technique and uh, rather than using the bone folder use some kind of like a uh, moss like um, you know the thing that you use when you're putting on your makeup I'm gonna use it a little bit later in the video so much better because it's quite mossy <laughs> Uh, it just goes inside all the little uh, indents and crevices and everything and it works a lot better. There we go. Okay, so that's just um, something to apply your makeup on. I bought it for my scrapbooking, like for the inking and everything and I just love it. I use it all the time. And then I'm just gonna wash it and it's fine. And it, it works really, really well. So I do recommend it rather than the bone folder. I think you probably can use a brush as well if you don't have the that thing. Um, just use anything that can go inside the crevices because that's the hardest part. Yeah, and I'm just removing some bits and pieces that came off um, just to make sure I get the, the texture I want and not something else. I 
section here, I'm just using my bone folder to make sure everything is uh, tight enough and that I have cloth everywhere. And same with the glue, always just put enough glue in here. Um, some people don't put a lot of glue because it's uh, cloth and it goes through. Uh, I do not recommend it if you're just going to leave the cloth as such, but I'm going to paint this cloth on top. So I don't really mind if there is some glue coming up. But if you are doing uh, only the cloth and not painting over it, then you definitely need to make sure you don't put too much glue so that it doesn't come off through the cloth. Uh, I recommend you use your fingers so that you know if it's a lot of glue or not enough. It shouldn't be wet at the touch, just a bit sticky. Uh, and definitely use textile glue as well and not PVA glue. All right, next I'm gonna go all around and I'm gonna do my corners and I'm gonna glue everything, like all the, the cloth back on itself. And this time I'm gonna use textile glue because this is the only thing that's really gonna be holding this cloth. On top of this, I'm gonna hide this cardboard anyways, so I don't really mind uh, that it shows. And this is gonna be really secure anyway, so that's fine. So I'm going with the corners first, uh, sorry, like the sides first, and then I'm doing the top bit, which is a lot uh, longer. And um, as usual, I always do this. I use my paintbrush to make sure that the glue is like everywhere. And I'm just cutting a little bit the edges making sure there's glue everywhere and I just keep my paintbrush in a little pot with water um, and I just have it on my desk at all times because I use it so often and I have a few because sometimes I use it for painting sometimes I mean I just love my paintbrushes and I use them just all the time all the time love them they're my favorite thing in the world, probably. Maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Almost, I guess. I find this corner things really troublesome. It's really hard to get really good corners. I've seen quite a lot of different techniques. Um, if you have techniques, just please share. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's really, really hard to get good corners. What I'm doing here is I'm just folding them onto themselves so that I get the corner exactly how I want it. I don't think, I don't know if there's a really good way to do them. I've seen so many different ways. Again, here I'm just going over all the little places where it's not stuck properly, just making sure everything is perfect. And now we're going to paint. So I'm using um, acrylics and this is an iridescent blue acrylic that I bought especially for these journals so I've been using it everywhere and I'm gonna water down my paint a little bit more so that I don't get too many uh, smudges but I'm just gonna put like paint all over my my cover and I'm using different shades of blue and green um, and white as well. Uh, the white will be in the end more to just make all the details of the scales pop up. And here I'm just going over and just like water washing everything with acrylics. And I did wait for the glue to dry before I painted it. Otherwise, it might not uh, stick anymore. I'm using quite a lot of water so that the paint goes through easily into the into the cloth, and 
uh, so that I don't get too many smudges. It's quite hard not to get smudges when you do it on a cloth, but um, yeah, you can always just paint over it. It's it's fine, and it gives this this grunged used vintage look. So I think it's it's okay if you get a bit of a of smudges. It's fine. It looks good anyways in the end. Don't don't worry. <laughs> So how are you guys today? Over here we've had uh, crappy weather. It's just been raining so much for like two weeks and it's the beginning of spring so I really wanted to plant stuff. I had so many plants and I couldn't uh, because it's raining I didn't want to go out but also because if you plant anything uh, it might just get moldy and just kill all my seeds so I've just been putting it off I really hope next week is gonna be sunny but with the rain everything is green it's just beautiful like all the plants in the city are just like growing at an incredible speed it's just amazing I absolutely love it so yeah, rain has its good and it's good and bad. <laughs> How are things with you guys? How are you doing? Have you got any new projects, any new ideas that you might want to share? I have two projects at the moment. One lab book, like fern ideas, lab book, and I'm thinking a journal on fantastic beasts, <laughs> which is quite far, far away from this ocean journal that I'm currently making. But I love the idea of making a journal explaining everything about the animals and like watercolors and everything and just yeah I'm a fan <laughs> what are you gonna do all right so we're almost finished with all the painting I'm just gonna go over with a lot lighter shade uh, to make all the details pop up as I mentioned before and also trying to remove some of the smudging that I might have had before and this is a dryer brush it's called a dry brushing technique so I'm not putting a lot of water this time it's uh, it's quite dry acrylic like without water and I'm gonna go drier and drier and add a little bit of white and no water and then I'm just gonna mix it up and just add it on top of the details and I'm using my brush really flat on top of the of where I want the scales to show so that only the scales that come up like they they stick out uh, are gonna grasp the paint and yeah I'm just gonna distress a little bit the edges by adding a bit of white as well and distress like this with dry brushing a little bit everywhere as well all the edges
So I'm just going over and over and with that white. So in the beginning it was just light blue and now it's just plain white. I'm just going little by little towards the plain white so that I'm just making sure it's not too strong. Uh, I'm just adding it as I need it. And now I'm just dry brushing the entire cover to give it this more aged look. It's very interesting. I don't know if you see this, but depending on the light, it's either really light or completely blue. Well, it's a really light uh, version you should, you should remember. <laughs> The cover is definitely not fully blue, it's just so much more interesting. But I will put up the flip through of this journal and all my eight other journals online so you will be able to see the end result. And hopefully my lightning will be a lot better so you can get to see everything. And now I'm just going to let it dry and then I will install all the pages and everything. And this is the end result with my bead and dangles and all the pages installed. And this is the closure. And the, um, the flip through will be online really soon. I will also sell this on Etsy. So do let me know if you're interested. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to, to, to see all my latest videos. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to show you these uh, beautiful journal you guys in my flip through. And thank you so much, so much for watching. And I will see you guys really, really soon for another video. Bye. Bye, guys.